So we need that for any of the things I wanted to do today, which is the armor, is the tools, it's the upgrading the pouch. All of that needs wildwood. Whoa! Dang it! Well, I think we're gonna fix this first. Bummer. remember what it looks like based on how oh, we need some iron wood yeah. okay don't have any iron wood in there some in here. Yep. And here's a little bit of the chiseled stone that I broke. Let's just try to fix our house a little bit. Darn creeper! Alright, and then he goes here. I think that's fixed. It appears so. I mean, I need to put a window pane there, but I'm not that concerned. I'll do that in a moment. Let's put the ironwood back away. I'm going to have to go back to the nether, guys. I need to set up our Batania stuff again real quick so that we can do the uh, dark oak swap. Came here to do that. And we'll put the ender chest in here that we're going to need for, um, for that. Any dark oak around this forest that we were in for so long? <laughs> the forest looks exactly the same as the one we just moved out into, so I don't think so. Okay. Alright, we need to make an alchemy catalyst, guys. Oh, you know what I should do? To make this a little easier next time. You. I need to set one for the fortress. When we get there, so we don't have to run it. Because <laughs> that's what we're doing at the moment. <laughs> Alright. Running the 300 blocks. All right, and here I need. up here somewhere over here apparently all right
went up. Yeah, walk through the fire, because that was intelligent. And then we went down, which there's a hellhound. We'll take care of you. Hey, you dropped blaze powder. Well, that's nice. Now that I know that. Um, yeah. Okay. Hi, I saw you. There's a, is that a spawner right there too? Okay. Great. Did you drop one? You didn't. You right there. You didn't drop one either. Well, here's something we need. I don't want to go exploring through this if I don't have to. I just need... I just need blazes, man. Should go over to that spawner, even though I don't want to. Okay, let's eat. And... Here's one. Hi. Did you die? Did you drop one? You did. Alright. Well, do we chance it and try to get a couple more? That is a spawner. It looks like it's mostly disabled because of the lava flowing on it. We have this one over here, though. That will definitely spawn them. Come back down. You. There's two. <sighs> Come on. That's plenty. Three, three's good. We have one at home. We're, we're good. Don't, don't overestimate my ability to die here. <laughs> All right, let's get out of dodge. Definitely gonna. Oh wait, you know what we wanted to do? Ah, uh, that book. Another fortress. New. Woo. Alright.
And I cut around here and down there. Oof, not that far. Okay. Um, can I actually, now that I've done all that, can I just use this is travel across dimensions? No. Okay, didn't think so. Should have set one at my home point. little steps thingy that we'll need to fix if we're going to be running this again which hopefully not hopefully I'll remember I have a save point in my ender book and I should do one for the exit too which this exit's gonna change so we'll be able to change that one it changes for us um, I didn't want to put a new nether portal um, down until I knew where I was going to be putting it. And I don't yet. It's going to be somewhere in our wizard village when we get to doing that. Okay, so let's do the book. Let's set a um, another exit. There we go. All right. And it's raining. All right. Great. We're home. We need to make some more food. So we should do that. And we could get this nether wart planted. Might as well just put it here. And we need a. Uh, Two of those for for brewing stands for our alchemy catalyst. We need to set up our Batania stuff in that fenced in area again. So let's grab that. Mana pool, mana spreader, pure daisy, endo flames. We need living rock to make the alchemy catalyst. Wand. I need some gold. And I have the cobblestone, so let's go ahead and make the two brewing stands. Let's do right here. We'll set up the um, end of flames. Let's do this first. And now we need to get some stone and let's see and we got 22 charcoal that's a good start let's make sure you guys are bound great go go mana great yay now some stone which I don't think I have any down here it's all up there is there any stone in here? Yep. Got 
that going and sleep. All right. We need to grab a sapling. There we go. So we have that. Um, oh, shoot, I need to go grab an ender pearl. I thought I had everything. Alright. All of this for... Oh, we're gonna need to do this for four saplings. Well, there's two. Aren't you usually swimming in these things? <laughs> okay. It would have been faster for me to go back to my storage unit. <laughs> Goodness sake! RNG in this game is sometimes so unfair. Alright. Now, does this need to be a mana pearl? Yes. Okay, so we need to make sure we have enough mana to do this, which we do for that. Alright. There's our alchemy catalyst. Oh, thanks for wasting some dirt, but whatever. All right, so this will give us spruce. And then this will give us something. And then birch gives us jungle. Acacia. Dark. Yay! Okay, let's grow some dark oak trees. Hopefully this is enough to give us four saplings back. Gosh, I really hope. Um... And of course we don't have an axe because we made a cheap axe last time and it broke. Just do another cheap axe for now. Um, do I have... Uh, it's a bucket. 
I need shears and a knife. Actually, just a knife. Um, put a stone knife in here. There's the bark that we need to do our ritual. Ow. Where are you? I can't s I don't, oh, you're right there. Okay. All right, so this should, there we go. It's showing that the ritual is correct now. Let's get ourselves our flint and steel and get it going. And that, if it works correctly, there should be a tree growing there when it's done. A special tree. Oh, there's our special tree that we can only get this way. Now, this wood is going to come handy. We're going to want it for um, those trap doors. If I can fix the texture that we just saw at the very beginning of the stream it was kind of wonky. Because um, I like the rest of this texture pack, but I don't know why the roots texture is broken for that particular piece when it was fine in my previous texture pack that I started with. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay, so we needed the... Oh, all this garbage in my inventory. Seriously, let's just put you over here somewhere. And, uh, yeah. We needed to do the component pouch. I did it again. This one. So we need to grab the under chest, spirit herb, the component pouch we currently are wearing, and two wild root bark from you. Yay. We got four from that. Sweet. You, spirit herb, or is it moon glow? Spirit herb, ow! And we need to take off this. Great, everything is there. Yay! Now, did this remember what was in it? Did I lose everything? It remembered. Um, <clears throat> I can hold three more items than the other pouch. So we need to make sure that the spells we use most often, this is the only area that it will pull spell components from. And you can put a whole bunch in these. They're larger than a stack, I think. And then of course, this is just regular storage for like our staves and you know, all this different stuff that we could put in there that's just regular storage and we can equip it in one of these pouches spots. Sure. And then we do the short key to get into it. Okay. So we have the pouch now. Step one done for what I wanted to do today. Step two is to make the armor wildwood armor and then work look at the tools so these we're going to need to make an iron set and grab diamonds for each and then we need some more of this wildwood bark from the tree that we've just grown so this will be cool this is the initial armor it is less uh, i don't think it's less i think it's the same as iron but its enchantability is that of gold 
And then the other armor is slightly less than I, I don't know, the Sylvan. This stuff. Um, it's more than iron, but less than diamond. But we don't have enough amethysts, and I haven't collected any fey leather yet. So we're doing the wild root, ver wild root variety. So let's go back to the house. Let's make ourselves a set of iron armor and grab the diamonds we need. All the iron I have smelted. <laughs> well, let's let's take care of that. Let's do those. And then we need one, two, three, four diamonds. Yep, okay. Just making sure. Let's sleep. It's nighttime. Good. It looks like it has some residual ember in it. Hopefully it has enough to make a few ingots. Alright, so we need boots. Hunt. Hello, creeper. And then we need some more wild wood. Things are going okay. A little rough this today. This stream's been a little rough, but things are going okay. All right, so we need to do fey crafting for this. Let's make it. Oh, I need wood. Can't do that in there. All right. There's that. That. Um, rough in that my husband just left for the weekend, so I've got four days without him. So it's kind of rough. It, it, I don't like being alone and, you know, husband being far away, so that's just kind of it. Yeah, he's just away for the weekend. All right, so we have our first magical armor, which again, as I mentioned at the beginning, is not as good as this emerald armor, but I wanted magical stuff. And we'll be able to enchant this and check it out. Check, check it out. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Ah, this stuff's so cool. I'm glad they didn't change the textures too much from Wild Roots from Roots 1 and Roots 2. So yes, we have that. It took us only two hours to get the stuff we needed to make the armor and the apothecary pouch. But that makes me happy. And like I said, we can enchant it. I only have 25 levels. I don't think I have any lapis down here. I'd have to go back up to the house and grab some lapis and we could put some low level enchants on here. Yeah. So, I probably need to put some more ember in there. Um, we want to chop this tree down so we can grow another one. What do we have in here that I wanted to do next? I know I wanted to get a couple spells done. And 
we wanted to look into doing the animal harvesting, which means we need to collect some animals. Um, what would it need? So I would need a wild wheat farm, a melon farm, a carrot farm, and a wild root farm, and a sheep farm, in order to run the animal harvest ritual, if I, in order to run it consistently. Now, um, if you remember, we mentioned that you can automate rituals. It will pull um, the resources that it needs from a chest under the pyre. Oh, so, yeah. Um, okay, so this says at the end of ritual, if the pyre contains the items to repeat itself, the fire does not go out. Good, so I won't have to worry about this needing to light itself. Okay. Okay, so that's a lot more work than we're ready to do with the for the animal harvest in order to automate it. I have all of these things, so we can at least see it work. Um, and that would give us some better food options. Um, what do the deer drop? Do they drop um, venison, perhaps? And if so, venison, they must. Is it used for anything beyond um, just eating it raw? No, there isn't any additional recipes for doing anything with it yeah you can trade for emeralds good to know so we probably don't need to capture any venison um cow will be plenty because we'll get the leather and the steak from it which we can make use um with the excel food mod we can use the steak for a lot of things um so we need sheep we're gonna need chickens, which I'm not sure. I'll probably need a separate chicken farm. Hey! Stop! Hermes. Alright. <clears throat> I need a bigger chest down here. <laughs> uh, so let's solve that right now because there's not enough space to do everything we need to do. I do also, like I mentioned, want to kind of move our root stuff and make it look pretty up by our house because this is going to be essentially the School of Druidic Arts. So this is going to be where our root stuff is. Um, the things that runs off of just roots will be here um, instead of down here in this fenced in area. We'll go up there, but I need to light that area up first. Yeah. Does Roots have any light sources? I don't think they do, but I thought I'd look. Radiance. Does Radiance do light sources? Faylight. That Faylight, I think, is the one that you phase through walls. Let's see. So we have two choices. We have either Faylight or Radiance. No, the Radiance is a weapon. These are light sources. Faylight is light sources. Wonder what they look like. Because that might be nice to use fit to do the light sources in this area. So we need a jack o' lantern, a sunflower, two cloud berries, and acacia bark. So we need an acacia tree. Don't have an acacia tree, but thankfully I now have an alchemy catalyst. So let's get that spell going.
Um, I have no torches on me. Do I have one? Do I happen to have one that I picked up? I do. Okay, so. Jack-o-lantern. Um, come out here and grab a sunflower. I know I saw one. Because there's a tiny bit of sunflower planes out here. Sunflower. And then we need an acacia tree, which I should just grab a sapling and get it converted. And I need to... Did you? You didn't just. You did. You ate my sapling. You mean, mean thing. Yeah. Let's do this again. Loki, I don't allow you on my desk. Yeah, don't look at me like a, oh, you've been caught. You know it. Down. Okay. Acacia tree. And we need our spell. Woo! Now, we needed the bark, right? Yep. Okay, so we have some of that. We'll have to fix it, because now it looks floaty. <laughs> and... So we need to do the sunflower and the jack-o'-lantern and one of the acacia bark and two of the cloudberries. Which we have cloudberries over here. There we go, Fey Light. Great. Now, do we want to put it on this one with Growth Infusion, Magnetism, Growth Supplication? Sure. I don't see why not. Those are all the more mundane, positive use ones, so that'll work. <clears throat> Alright, let's see, what do they look like? Awesome! Perfect! They just, like, little sparkly... I kinda like that. Cool. And they are easily broken, so that's good to know too. Alright. So we'll be able to run up there and light up the area. And probably, first we'll just spam them, but um, we will probably, you know, make them look nice eventually. The ones that we'll be keeping there. Let's grab some more cloud berries so that, because um, I think that's what it said it needed. Yeah. There we go. All right. Hello. Let's uh, go back in here and get our enemy staff. Thank you. And... I meant to make a bigger chest while I was down there. That's why I grabbed one of the crystals. Anyway, 
Let's put this in here for now. Yeah, because I grabbed a crystal so I can make a bigger chest for my roots things. But since we're working, we're going to work to, in the last 20 minutes or so, putting lights up here and then maybe planning where we're going to put things. Like where are the little farms going to be? Where's the... Um, ritual pyre that we're going to need for basic crafting where's the you know our wand and spell creation area even though once we're done making all the spells we won't need to make them again unless we lose our wand and kind of something better and more interesting than just a square block of land for farming so that's kind of the goal let's do f7 and we're just going to place them on the ground and take care of everywhere that needs light. That's gonna be what we're gonna start with. We'll go around the house first. And then we'll spread out from there. All right, so we've done around the house. Let's go this direction. That's plenty far enough. Yes, do not like all these butterflies. Whoa, there's another creeper. Dang it. Oh, and there's another one. Decent area. This is a decent sized area for the root stuff. Definitely. Um, I have to decide if I'm going to take that silverwood tree down. should grab the some of the supplies and make some more um, stuffed aubergines or eggplant for those of you who don't know what an aubergine is it's the same thing just a different name Sing it! This is the I'm Hungry song, Mom. Okay, I think we did a pretty good job canvassing this area with light. I mean, we can go a little further. Um, actually, the Astro Sorcery School, I discussed this at the beginning of the stream. You see those four waypoints over there? They're a cluster of four um, of the dense starlight areas, and they're in a mountain range, which is exactly where I was looking for having my Astro Sorcery School. And so, yeah, we're gonna go, we're gonna live over there. The Astral Sorcery School is going to live over there. 
eventually. I need to collect resources and figure out a build palette and what I want to look like, but I will be starting to build that area very soon. Just was not in the mood for astral sorcery today. We, we have a lot of astral sorcery to try to dig through to get to the point that I can fly around in the build area that I'll be working in. You know, I can move that ritual around. And um, the one that prevents mob spawns, I would like to in each area that I'm building and then will be expanding it to where I live. Um, I've got a lot of astral sorcery to do before I can even get to those things. So we're, we're, we'll get there. Yeah, but yeah, thrilled. Thrilled that there's just a cluster of them in a mountain range. Exactly what I wanted. Exactly. So that took a lot of hunting. I was I was on for like four hours the other day just hunting um, for a good astral sorcery spot. Because... Okay, I think we're good for now with the light. Okay, happy. Let's make some more aubergine. All right, we have one of the cooked ones, but we need to grab. Don't have the room. While we're here, let's drop off some of the stuff we don't need in our inventory. Um, we have a piece of coarse dirt that got converted. That is where I have my rustic stuff. There. Let's grab some of these. I have a spell book, which I do not have room unless it stacks. Let's find out. Nope, it's a different spell. All right. That can go there for now. More blocks. That helps. Thirteen! How many are more in here? Six. They take forever. This will be for our roots items. Um, one thing I wish was that you could pick up these radiant chests with chest transporters. I wish. There isn't a way to pick these up and keep their inventory, so that is a mm, bummer, but not something I can really do anything about. So that stuff can go in there. We'll put the knife in there. And then all of this stuff will move in there eventually. Really, Hermes? Mortar and pestle need to be a thing again. There we go. Great. Alrighty, let's see here. Do I have any marker stone? I do. Oh, those are clay wall, not marker cobble. It's not the marker cobble. That's okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here will be the ritual pyre that we may need for any um, crafting or transmutation. It might also be nice to have wildwood trees, those out here, so I may have to grow some and kind of fill the area in with the wildwood trees. And we might even do the forest, um, 
spreading forest one and just make it more foresty up here. That would be good. Um, and then on this side, it would be cool to do Maybe we'll do some kind of tiered farm. I have to figure out how I, if I want to do automation with roots, because you can automate farming with roots. I don't know if you can, um, yeah, you can automate harvesting, can't you? Isn't there a... There's animal harvesting. There's gathering. Hmm. I have to remember, see what we can do there as far as farming. At least farming the roots, little roots farms, which could be over here. And back here, we might build a little hut of some sort for. The wand, the wand crafting, those spells imbuing, that would work really well. Night, right, like right here, would work well. So that will be a thing. Anything else we need? Um, we have the fey crafting. We can make something pretty for that with the grove stone near it use some of this rune stone to build with or these outside structures. Uh, we need to make an unending bowl. This is an infinite water source. That would be nice. Yeah. Um, I think we need a, a pyre with an offering plate so we can do some of the summoning if we need to. Just have everything set up so that we don't have to go, oh crap, I have to reset that back up. So that's definitely a thing we're going to want to do. And that's something I can do, you know, some of it I can do between this stream and the next, because you've seen me do make a wildwood tree and you've seen me do spell crafting and you've seen me do ritual. So those are things I can relocate those things without you missing on how they work or what I plan on doing with them. So, yeah. Um, we have officially moved in here and I will just be migrating some of the other things that are in the fenced in area as we need them. So in here I'm going to have some basic automation of resources that we need for building. Um, all of the books are going to go in here. I think I have room right here. In this wing, I know this is burnt, gone from the creeper, for our enchantment setup. So I'll relocate that here. I'll get the um, storage up here better organized so they're easier to find things. Um, make a wall an actual bedroom and while that off to be a bedroom. Um, yeah, so there's things I can do that you guys will, you know, just appreciate having it easier to do. So I'm going to call it for today. I do hope you enjoyed. It's, it was an impromptu, unplanned stream. I might actually do this again tomorrow morning. Don't normally stream on Fridays, but uh, with uh, Edward being gone, I, you know, I could do that without imposing on our regular schedule. So I may actually stream tomorrow morning. Yay. So I will see you guys next time. The next time I stream, it will be Rustic Waters. I was working on some AE, getting some of our storage set up and connected to the terminal. So yeah, we'll get back into some more automation and progressing towards the creative tab in that next time. So I'll see you then, folks. Take care and have a great rest of your Thursday. Bye!